Now to check in with one of the members of our political panel. Charles Richardson is joining us right now. Dr. Charles Bullock, I'm sorry, is joining us now from the University of Georgia. Dr. Bullock, uh, interesting race now that are you surprised that Doug Collins conceded this early to Kelly Leffler and kind of ruling himself out of the runoff as far as that special election Senate seat? Yeah, I really am. I, all I can assume is he must have looked at the map and seen that most of the votes from North Georgia, where he would do very well, especially in his own congressional district, maybe they'd already been counted and he just he couldn't see a way to catch up. So I, I was surprised. I thought he had a very good shot of making it into the runoff. So far, it does not look like Georgia's going blue. The president is winning handily. David Perdue's winning handily. Is that surprising to you? Well, it is, yeah. It's still, uh, you know, there's still the Atlanta vote to come in, and that's probably what Democrats have to count on because there's so many votes in that area, and if a Democrat's going to win the state, it's going to be because they do well in the urban areas, and especially in Atlanta. So I don't know if Democrats can maybe be holding on to a thread of hope there, but uh, so far it does not look good for Democrats. All right, let's talk about the runoff of the special election, Senator. It looks like Raphael Warnock and Kelly Leffler. I can imagine that's going to uh, attract money from all around the country as far as that, that race goes. Is that what you see? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the record for money spent on a Senate race was just been set in North Carolina at $100 million. We may beat it. We may become number one. The most expensive Senate race ever. We already uh, have the most expensive House race ever, and that was that special election back in 2017 so we could become number one on both sides house and senate oh yeah because that senate runoff is not until january 5th dr bullock oh, thanks right. very much certainly appreciate your time all right let's check out some more results right now district 13 georgia state senate cardin summers the incumbent an easy win right there uh larry walker uh, no problems tonight defeating uh, opponent julius newberry johnson Max Burns has defeated Sarita Smith in District 23. Burt Jones, the incumbent, easy win, getting 68% of the vote right now. Susan Holmes leading uh, her opponents handily. Susan Holmes with over 70% of the vote. Danny Mathis, District 144, 70% of the vote to defeat Mary Ann Whippleu. Rick Williams in District 145, the incumbent, winning tonight, 56% of the vote. District 147, Georgia House, Heath Clark, the incumbent, 57% of the vote to defeat Stephen Boyer. District 148, Georgia House, Williams, 72% of the vote there.